Hello everyone, Yensid Organist here, and welcome to another episode of Orglecraft. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Last episode, we worked on the northern part of the wharf part of the town, and built lots of houses in this area here. As you can see, I still have not cleaned up. That's alright, we'll get there eventually. And after working on that, I have been really inspired to work on trying to get the the whole northern part of the bay here, or I, fjord? I'm not sure what actually constitutes the fjord. If it's this area here, or if it's the entire body of water, I should probably learn that at some point. Anyway... Um, I'm starting to, I, I'm starting to see maybe a little tiny glimmer of light at the end of this tunnel. Obviously, you know, with what I'm planning to do for the, the southern part of the harbor, uh, we're, we're probably not even halfway done, but I'm, um, yeah, I, I, I'm starting to feel like we can definitely get there. So what I want to do today is I want to completely finish outlining the street for Windmill Way. This is this road that we started working on here a few months ago, and we've gotten a start on it. We've done a little bit of terraforming. We've built some houses, and then it kind of stretches up around here, and then it heads up into nothing. <laughs> We're climbing a stairway to nowhere at the moment. So, um, what I want to try to do today is I want to try to see if we can get this road finished. At the very least, the road. Now, I would love to start filling in a little bit of doing a little bit of the terraforming, but that could be a much bigger project. But I feel like if I can at least get the the shape of the road and you know the roughly the elevation changes that I want I think it will be a lot easier to work and then we can do the terraforming and then I can kind of build houses as I go from there it'll also allow us to build the wall out here that's going to kind of stretch up and into the mountains there protecting the village. So that is what I'm going to work on. I think the first thing that I want to do, I've got some wool. I think the easiest thing to do would be to plot a path just on one level, just to kind of get a rough idea for where I want it to go, and then start working, figuring out what I want to do for the elevation changes. So let me do a little bit of prep work, and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. I've started laying out the road as it splits off from down here at the end of Hill Street and got a rough outline that comes up here and then works its way back. These streets actually kind of almost come together here. I think there's a there's an elevation difference between the two of them. I have a problem though. Do, do you know what my problem is? Can, can you see it? Can you see it? I'm standing on it. Uh, this hill needs to come down. Let's take care of that. Welcome back to what I have currently dubbed the Spaghetti Mess. So, after trying to play around with the wool a little bit, I realized that I'm not doing... I was not doing very well trying to visualize the 3D element in a two-dimensional layer in a three-dimensional world, if that makes sense any sense and so I decided that I would just kind of start freeforming the road get the rough shape that I wanted and then I went back through filled it all out and made it walkable and I'm pretty happy with how things are looking here do you like the cursed beacon yeah it's a half slab so we come all the way up here and I actually, as I looked closer at my reference pictures, you know, I could use a little more cobblestone, right? Yeah, that's fine. And there. I, re I discovered that this section of the road actually is higher than this, so altered that a little bit. And then I won't, I'm not going to walk the entire thing, but then it comes, loops all the way back around, 
and before it starts turning back inland, comes fairly close to our wharf town. So I kind of went with um, areas that I needed to build to and marked those out. I need to uh, take down my now useless um, powdered snow farm because the, um, the, the height that snow falls at now in 118 is considerably higher. So instead of getting snow, I'm getting water up here. So we got to get this all cleaned up. And then after getting the road in place, I went through and um, just kind of did a little bit of a, a rough sketch of where the land is going to go. So I kind of wanted it to dip down a little bit there and then build its way back up. So you can see I've got some rough points. I also have some places. There's a couple of houses on this hill. So I kind of roughed out where those were going to go. And that's what we've got so far. I decided that the inner road would be better because there are some reference points from it for the outer part of the road. And I thought it would be a little bit easier to work all of that if I had something to go off of. I am um, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. I, I have the urge now to do all the terraforming in, but I know that that is going to be a much more time-consuming process. And the, well, the goal of this episode is to get the road done. So I think I'm going to keep working on that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working this next section here and basically get it to line up with where I have the end of the road there, and then we'll build up into the foothills from there. I want you to think back for a minute to the beginning of this season when we planted the flag up here on this tall mountain and proclaimed that it was going to recreate the kingdom of Arendelle here in Minecraft, and I had specifically chosen this location because of the mountains. I then proceeded to level a large section of the mountains to make room for the town that we have been constructing. And all the while, the goal had been to limit the amount of terraforming that we had to do by using terrain that existed naturally. Well, this is the path so far. And you see that little nether portal up there in the background? Yeah, that's only 20 blocks higher than I am now. I am really, really glad that 118 up to the height limit because, yeah, this is this is only like the foothills of what's going to be much taller mountains. Um, yeah, and here I thought I was halfway done. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, all of that said, the roads are coming along nicely. We're probably about halfway done. At this point, it's going to kind of loop up into the hills. I don't think it actually needs to go too much higher. And as I've been looking at my references, I think I'm actually going to make a little bit of an alteration so that we don't end up hundreds of blocks out into the ocean there. Um, but yeah, so this is what we've got so far. So this is, this is the road that we actually started building over there. And it comes up and around, loops down, and then kind of turns back in on itself. And then it's going to be heading out that way. So I'm going to keep working on this. And... Probably, unless there's something very interesting to point out, I'll probably, I will probably get this finished and bring you guys back when it's done. We are making progress on the roadway here. It is not done, but I'm almost there. I basically just have the last little loop that comes off of here. It's going to loop down around there, and then we'll come around and meet up with there, but as you can see, I have a little bit of an issue. I, I've had to carve through the mountain, so um, yeah, say goodbye to another mountain. Magic. The sheep and cows over here are very confused as to what's been happening to their home. So, I realized as I started pulling this down that I didn't need to get rid of all of it. Um, just enough to be able to get the sight lines here, and then if I need to remove a little bit more in the future, I can do that. But I think we're in pretty good shape. So what I want to do right now is I want to just kind of um, figure out the next part of this path, and I thought we might it might be kind of nice to do that together. So what we're going to do from here... Oh, this looks like a sharp corner. It's really not from that angle. So the path is going to turn from here. I'm going to bring this out just a few blocks. 
and I want to go about 50 blocks in that direction. So, the easiest way to do that will be to give myself 50 blocks and then start bridging. All right, now the first thing that I need to check is that I am significantly beyond this end of the path here. And um, I think I probably want to go a little farther. Let's, yeah, let's do another eight. And I think that will do, um, yeah, I think that'll be all right. So then we're going to come over this way. The path is going to go roughly to where it was before. So we're working on a diagonal here. Probably won't go quite as far. I think this looks good. And then I think I want to go about another 10 blocks up. Mm, maybe a little bit more than that. We'll go there, and then I'm going to put a red wool here, thus I've been using this as my marker. So then, what we're going to do is we are basically going to build a cobblestone path from here all the way up to there. So, take a little of this out, and then what I've been doing is um, just doing a, a single path that'll become the center and then I go back in and fill it in as we go so we're gonna need to make sure that we are getting a good angle here and then let's maybe start heading up I wasn't really counting how many in either direction I was going so we have to make sure that we because this is a this is a fairly straight line here. So I want to make sure that we are fairly consistent as we do this. I think my angle is not the best, but then the nice thing is we can kind of freeform and we can also fix it. Um when we're filling in the rest of it. Yeah, this is not quite going the direction it needs to go. Let's maybe do a little bit of a sharper diagonal. And it is a, you know, it is a free form path, so that helps somewhat. I think height-wise I'm doing okay. Might be a little steeper at the top, but that is okay. And then we'll take that back and do that. Okay. Let's take a look at this from the air. Yeah, it's a little sharp right in here. So I think we want to... Whoa, I missed. <laughs> So let's maybe smooth that out a little bit, if I can land on it. There we go. So let's maybe go here, and let's extend these by one, and then maybe by two. There, and I think that'll probably clean it up a little bit. Yeah, this feels this feels a little bit better um, now that we have that in place. Okay. So then we need to just come along here and start to fill this in. I'm going for roughly a three wide path give or take um, as, as I get farther as I get farther and farther away from like the the town proper I've um, 
I've been varying the width of it a little bit. I think we'll take that corner off. And then I have some slabs here so that it's walkable without having to jump. There are some places as I've been looking at, the, and it's snowing. Of course it is. <laughs> um, yeah, there have there are some places as I've been looking um, at some pictures and things. I'm like, yeah, we cannot do in Minecraft what they're doing um, in the. I was going to say in the real world, in the in in the world of Frozen. Um, I think there are paths that would be a little bit steeper than this. Maybe not. Um, you know, because if you think about it, you know, in terms of real world, every block is about three feet. Um, and so, um, yeah, and so I think that you could have, I, I think it would be reasonable that you would have a, a, a slope that goes at a 45 degree angle. Uh, let's bring that out there. Okay, and then these get fun to do through here. When we're working on the diagonal, let's go. Actually, I think that will work. And let's bring that out a little bit. And then this is already pretty good. I think we'll stick that there. And then we'll do that. Make this a little bit wider. Let's maybe pull that there. And let's do two there. I don't know why I find it so hard to tell good lines when there's snow on it, but it bugs me. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. It's going to be really hard to see in the snow. Fortunately, it's nighttime, so we'll be able to get rid of that. Yeah, I think this looks... Blizzard. <laughs> yeah, I think this looks pretty good. All right, let's go sleep this night off. And clear the snow off. This, I realize, is going to be a little bit of a problem as we keep working on this. So, yeah, something that's going to have to be dealt with as we go forward. But I am happy with how this path is looking here. And we're making pretty good progress. So what we need to do now is this needs to, if I can land on it, there we go. So this needs to curve back around, and then it's going to make a final loop up and join up with that. So I think I am going to work on that off camera, and I will bring you guys back in a little bit. Windmill Way is complete. I did decide to do this final little loop that comes up here and I think it looks really good I realize it doesn't look like much now there is a lot to be filled in but I am really happy with how all this turned out I think this path is gonna look really nice cut into the hills and gives us a great canvas to be able to build off of it's funny when I was plotting out where this road was going to go initially I um, I had been coming way out into the ocean here and I was like no that's that's way too far that can't possibly be right and then I was thinking oh maybe it's somewhere down there well my initial estimates of where this road was going to end up were pretty accurate based on how far out we've had to come. But I think the scale of this is good, and I think this is going to look really nice when all is filled in and all is said and done. That said, I need a lot of dirt. <laughs> um, very little of this is actually going to be... Um, you know, like Stone Mountain, there are some place where we will be using stone, but for the most part, 
um, it's going to be grass and dirt, so I'm going to have to go and um, raid all of my storage for that, and we might have to be, we might have to be collecting more, because yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of area that needs to get filled in, not to mention, we have, if the world would load, we have the wall that is going to be coming up and probably in through here. I'm probably going to take a little bit of liberty with where the wall actually goes, um, just so that it's not so ridiculously far away. But it's got to come all the way up here. So, we have work to do. I'm really excited to build that part of the wall, but we need terrain in first. So, we will get to that when we get to it. Alright, well, I need to clean up a little bit of stuff here, and then I think I've got some time, so let's start doing some terraforming.
I have just about run out of dirt, and I have also just about run out of time for this episode. But I think we have got a good start on the terraforming here. Some things are still a little rough. Obviously, when we add the houses in there, we'll be able to do a little bit of work terraforming there that will clean that up a little bit. And of course, we have to add trees and things like that all along here, which will make this look a lot more interesting. But I think for right now, we've got a good start on the terraforming, and I will have to go bring many, many, many shulker boxes. This was about two inventories worth of dirt and grass. And so, yeah, gonna need a lot more to get all of this filled in, but that is something that we will work on in the future. I've been trying to keep at least a little bit of a dirt path right along the edge of the road. This should be fairly easy to fill in because it's a nice little flat area. There are several houses that will tuck in there. And then I also have... Uh-oh. I've fallen down here. I need to light all of that up. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can stick the landing on the roof. So an area like this, I want to come back through and put some stone in here because there's a little bit more of a cliff. So we'd have some more... Um, um, natural stone occurring there. But for right now and today, I just wanted to get a little bit done so that we could see how this is all going to look. Guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.